How to use Keel software step by step. In this video tutorial I will show you a comprehensive overview of Keel Microvision 5 in detailing and show you how to create a first project in Keel step by step guide for beginners. Let's start the video. Welcome to Star Technology 5G. What is Keel software used for? Keel Microvision 5 is an indispensable tool used in various industries, including automotive, medical, home automation and more, that empowers the engineers and technician in their respective fields. You can download Keel Micro version from its website. Link is available in the description. After installation you can see this icon. Double click on this icon. This is the first window you can see. Click on project. New Micro Vision project. Creates a new project. Select path where you want to save the project. I will save on desktop. Click on new folder. Create a folder. It is good practice to use a separate folder for each project. Because Keel Micro Vision creates some file for every project. Folder name introduction. Open. And enter the project name. For example project 1. And click on save. Next. The new dialog box will open. Select device for target. Now you have to select which microcontroller you want to use in your project. Keel Micro version 5 has various microcontrollers databases which show up in the drop down list. Select the microcontroller for your application. For example. In search box. Right. 89C51. It will show you the all 8051 microcontrollers. I will select the microchip 8051. Description 8051 based full static 24 MHz CMOS controller with 32 input output lines. 2 timer counter, 6 interrupts, 2 priority levels UART, 3 level program memory lock. 4K bytes flash memory 128 bytes on chip RAM. Click on OK. Copy start up a 51 to project folder and add file to project. Embedded programs require some kind of microcontroller initialization code that has to match the configuration of the hardware design. If you want to add the files then click on yes and if you do not want to add click on no. I will go with yes. Startup files should be copied to the project folder. Now it created project 1 folder. And inside the project 01 folder. There is another folder named target. And inside the target folder. There is another folder named source code. Startup files copied to this project folder. Double click on startup file. The startup code initializes the microcontroller and has to match the configuration of the hardware design. Typically, the startup code resides in a file named startup. Close this file. The next step is to add source file in project. We can add files in several ways to a project. The most common way is. Right click on a source group. A list will open. Add new item to group source group 1. Add existing files to group source group 1. If you want to add existing file then click here. Remove group source group 1. If you want to remove file click here. Now I want to add new file. I will click on. Add new item to group source group 1. This option add new item to group opens and dialog box open that allows to add a new source file. In this dialog box different file types are available. Now you have to use which source file you need. The first is C file. Its extension is .c. It creates an empty C source file. The next is C++ file. Its extension is .cpp. It creates an empty C++ source file. Next is ASM file. Its extension is .s. It creates an empty assembler source file. Next is ASM file C preprocessed. Its extension is .s. 
it creates an empty assembler source file with C preprocessing and added to the project. Next is header file. Its extension is .h. It creates an empty header file. Next is text file. Its extension is .txt. It creates an empty text file. Text files are not included into the target build process. Next is image file. Its extension is .asterisk. It not applicable for C51, C251, and C166 tool chains. Next is user code template. It creates a source file containing function templates for the respective software component. If you want to create a project in C language then click on C source file. Create a new C source file and add it to the project. Enter the file name. So, it will create an empty C source file into the project. Or, if you want to create a project in assembly language then click on ASM file. Now I want to create project in assembly language so I will click on ASM file. Create a new assembler source file and add into the project. Enter the file name. Main. And click on add. It will add file in the source group. In this file we can write programming code. For example, I already wrote the program. And I will paste it here. This code simple on and off the LED with some delay. The next step is to set option for the target. Right click on target 1. A list will open. Option for target target 1. Set options configure the target hardware and the development environment. The options depend on the device and the tool chain selected for the application. All these settings are captured in one project target. You can define several project targets for different purposes. In this window we can set the option for the target. Click on device. Device database. Vendor. Microchip. Device. AT89C51. Tool set. C51. It shows the required development tool set. Use extended linker locator, LX51 instead of BL51, for C51 tool set. Use extended assembler, AX51, instead of A51, for C51 tool set. I am not using any of these tool sets so I will uncheck this box. Next is target. Microchip 89C51. Crystal 24, megahertz. In most cases this value is identical with the crystal frequency. You can change crystal frequency as per your project. Memory model. It show the specifies the C51 compiler memory model. In drop down list there is three options. Large variable in X data. Compact variable in P data. Small variable in data. For starting new applications. The small is a good choice. Code ROM size specifies the size of the program memory. This directive affects the coding of the JMP and call instructions. In drop-down list there is three options. The default value is large 64K. Operating system. You may use an real-time operating system in your application. Keel offers two different versions. RTX 51 Tiny and RTX 51 Full but we are not using any operation system so select none. Off chip code memory. No need to change this box. Code banking. Enables program code banking and allows to define the number of code banks and the start and end address supported by your hardware. A code banking configuration file such as L51 Bank A51 is required to configure the banking hardware. If you want to change code banking you can change from here, but I will not change this option. Next click on output. Select folder for objects. If you want to save file in different folder select path from here. Name of executable. Specifies the name of the executable that gets generated during the build or rebuild process. This executable is loaded into the debugger and downloaded to hardware by default. Debug information. 
generates debug information for testing the application. Enable the option to access function names, variables names, or the source code within the microvision debugger. Disable the option to create a release version. Check this box. Browse information. It creates browsing information for the source browser. Check this box. Create hex file. It will create an hex file. Hex files are used to download the software into a prom programmer or other utilities. By default this box is not check. If you want to create a hex file then check this box. Now click OK. Next step is to build the target file. Click the build button to translate all source files and link the application. It is showing the warning. Because there is no end instruction in this program. Now click on build button. The build output window displays errors, warnings, and build messages during the build process. And it will create the hex file. Hex files are used to download the software into a microcontroller. Minimize this window. Double click on introduction folder. Here are the all files and folder created by Keel Microvision for new project. Double click on objects folder. Here is the hex file. Project 01.hex. We will download this hex file into the microcontroller. This hex file contain all machine language code that will tell the microcontroller what to do. Click on back. Here is the main file. Double click on this file. Here is the program we wrote in the assembly language. And here in the startup file. This startup file initializes the microcontroller. Now I will download this hex file into the microcontroller. Here is 8051 circuit. Click on this microcontroller. Program file. Select hex file. Desktop. Introduction. Objects. Project 01. Open. OK. Start. You can see LED light is blinking with some delay. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Star Technology. Please like and share the video.